You know, there are a lot of things that, um, that I've been through in life. You know, I've had some great opportunities. I've had the opportunity to walk the stage at Miss America. I had the opportunity to, to be on The Apprentice with Donald Trump. I had the opportunity to graduate from Georgetown University Law School 100% debt free. I've even had the opportunity to experience what it's like to own my own business. I've had the opportunity to be in a courtroom to argue for my clients. I've had a variety of different experiences. It's a funny little word. It's a funny little word. I know you all want to say it. Just say it with me. Habitude. You take your attitude, you take your habits, you put them together, you have habitude. Well, habitude is a lifestyle. Believe it or not, you're already living some kind of habitude. Whether your life is defined by excellence, whether you perform at the level that you want to, whether you're innovative, that is your habitude. It is your lifestyle. Your lifestyle is the way in which you have styled your life. And so what I want you to keep in mind is that your attitude, your habits, your habitude is what makes you a Donald Trump, an Oprah Winfrey, a Bill Gates, a Tiger Woods, a Y-O-U. It's those three elements, when you mix them together, that will create the formula for you to be the very best that you can possibly be. Now, I am someone, I might be a little bit biased, but I firmly believe that every single person in this room is called not to just do good things, but to do great things. I firmly believe that greatness is in your reach, and it only combines, it only takes three steps. It takes the right attitude, the right disposition, so that you're preparing yourself to go in the right direction in the first place. It takes solid habits, so that you're investing in yourself, that you are preparing yourself for the future, and that you're exercising solid habits on an everyday basis. And then it takes a lifestyle that's committed to excellence. And when you internalize those things, when you accept those things, when you realize that that's what you were called to do, then life presents opportunities that begin to attract themselves to you. Just like I've been through a lot of different experiences, this $5 bill has been through a lot of different experiences. And I don't know whose hands it was in before it came to me. I don't know if it came straight from the bank. I don't know if it's, um, if it's had some rough days or if it's had some good days. I don't know where this $5 bill has been. But if I were to take this $5 bill and crumble it up, it doesn't look nearly as pretty as it did before. And when I think about this $5 bill that's all crumbled up, I actually think about myself when I was a kid, when I was a young, young person. When I was in elementary school, I felt like this crumbled up $5 bill. And the reason I felt like that was because I did not see myself, when we talk about attitude, I did not see myself as smart. I didn't see myself as smart because I was in this environment with with these students who got to go to this um, gifted and talented class and because I didn't go with them, I didn't perceive myself as someone who was smart. And because of that, because my perception of myself wasn't strong, I didn't reflect that. So I used to get in a lot of trouble for talking and, and getting my name on the board and I know none of you have never had your name, ever had your name on the board with one, two, three checks. And so sometimes we feel like this crumbled up $5 bill because failure is part of, is part of life but it's also the training ground for champions. And so when I take this $5 bill, if I open it back up, I'm not sure if there's anybody in here who would still want this. Is there? You still want this $5 bill because it still has value. It still has value. So no matter what it is that you've been through, keep in mind that life's battles do not always go to the stronger or to the faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who knows he can. Thank you.